all right guys welcome back to the channel hill creek outdoors got an exciting video for you guys today um as you can see behind me kind of a little bit different right i know we've talked about it in the previous videos but we have been thinking for quite some time about upgrading our tractors to get a new tractor here for the property um we just you know have really started to do things that the john deere 1025r was not capable of keeping up and we have big plans for what we want to do in the future so what we did hey we purchased something on our own not sponsored by any by anything else and we got a new tractor for the property major upgrade it is a coyote ns6010 so a 60 horsepower tractor um we got we're, we'll cover some things that we got with the tractor on um, some attachments things like that but this thing's going to be a huge upgrade for us we had the john deere 1025r it's kind of a a sad moment at the same time because we have so much so much um work that we've done with this thing it has been a workhorse and i would highly recommend it for anybody um, that that has a property this thing can do you some good work um, we put about i think it's got 600 hours on it so we put 600 hours on it since 2017 and i can't be more happy with what it has done for us but hey without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video we're going to bring you in closer kind of show you some different things on the um coyote here what we got things like that we'll do a full review on the coyote ns6010 um in another video but let's just bring you guys in close show you the comparison and, and why we decided to go with the the coyote all right so bringing you in closer here this is the ns6010 like i said for the coyote um we did if you've seen the previous video what what our seven upgrades that we wanted to make sure we had in a new tractor um i'll put put it up here so you guys can view that but we want to go we got pretty much everything we have we're still a couple things we need to purchase and then we'll add that on ourselves and we'll have some videos on how to do that um but we wanted to get the r14 tires um these things i've heard really good things about it so i'm i'm, I'm really excited to review that and see how that holds up um we did load we did load the um, rear tires here, and it added 385 pounds per tire, um, so a total of 770 pounds of weight. I think it holds something like 55 gallons of liquid ballast, so quite a bit there. We also had the tires flipped to where they're um, on the wider version. We didn't put spacers on it. Um, I think it's going to be wide enough as it is right here, um, and we'll test the stability out and things like that. I originally said I wanted spacers, but after flipping them, I think it might be wide enough. We'll go and we'll we'll kind of determine that as we as we work with it. So we got that. And why did we go with the Coyote compared to a different brand? We did a lot of research, right? A lot of research on the type of tractor we might want. Um, and let me tell you something. The price difference in the John Deere 1025 or the, the, the John Deere's, uh, the Kubotas, you, you name all the brands, the Coyote gave us more bang for the buck. And we got a 60 horsepower tractor, which this is about the size of a, a four series John Deere tractor. If we would have purchased a John Deere let's say 30 39 r that's would come in about forty thousand to forty five thousand dollars give or take somewhere in there you know prices may differ to where you're at in the country or wherever you might be um the timing is uh, that you buy it but for a brand new tractor it's it's right around that forty thousand dollar mark for a 39 horsepower john deere 3039 r now we paid right about forty thousand dollars for a 60 horsepower tractor from coyote with quite a few bells and whistles let me tell you there's quite a few things you'll check out that review that we're going to do a full in-depth review on it and you'll see everything we got but for the bang for the buck 
we felt that the coyote was worth it and that's why we purchased it for the property so another thing i said we were going to want when we purchased a new tractor was a grapple right we wanted the, the third function here in the front so we added we got the third fun function added that was a 1500 hundred dollar upgrade for them installing it from the dealership and then we added a a grapple here this is an iron craft grapple it's a 60 inch wide or wide grapple with two uh gra grapple what do you call them claws so two pivot points there and i think this one's going to be good for what we use it for we use do a lot of firewood and it'll be able to pick up logs load saw logs things like that on trailers it'll also be good for brush so we're, we're curious to see how well this thing holds up but this is one thing we definitely wanted to get this one wasn't very expensive um it actually was pretty cost effective i think it came in around 14 hundred dollars for this grapple um personally i don't think you can beat that that's a pretty good price for a brand new grapple so we got that um we did get the, the bucket with, that comes with the the loader which is a 72 inch bucket so we went from a 48 inch bucket on the john deere 1025r to a 72 inch bucket on the coyote so a lot more stuff you're going to be able to pick up volume going to save you much a lot more time so bringing you around to the back of the tractors uh, the John Deere 1025 R does not have any rear remotes anything like that no draw bar on it the coyote has we comes the NS 6010 comes with one rear um, remote we added another rear remote on it I think we paid $400 for to add that uh, from the dealer so we added that remote so now we have two sets of rear remotes it does have the draw bar um, has a lot of nice features in here which we'll cover in more detail on another video um, but yeah definitely got that added we are gonna have to add our top link cylinder so we can adjust it on the fly so we'll be adding that later and um, that's one thing that we didn't get from the dealership hey I figured we could just go ahead and do it ourselves We'll be able to show you guys how to install that and i think you guys would enjoy that video also we're going to get a adjustable side uh cylinder and we'll, we'll show you how to install that as well so those are kind of things hey one thing about the coyote um at this size level is it comes as a category two but the good thing with coyote is they go ahead and give you the bushings to adjust it to a category one if that's the type of implements you have and you can just pop these in and out if you if you do so so it does come category two when i was doing my research i don't personally i didn't need a cab tractor i don't feel i'm gonna ever need a cab tractor um i'm pretty durable <laughs> if, I, if i'm doing something outside i'll just bundle up in the cold if it's hot so be it you sweat a little bit um but with the when I was researching online, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that show reviews and things on the Coyote NS6010 with a cab. But you can't find very many or very much information out there on an open station. So that was another thing that I, I wanted to think about. That we can get some content out to the, all the viewers out there that, that might not um, want a cab. Get you some information on how an open station is going to work, operate and some features that it has. So that was another thing that, that I wanted to mention. If you do want to buy a, a cab, it's uh, I think it's like $6,000 more. So we saved $6,000 in that that regards. Yeah, you're not in the air conditioner heat all the time, but hey, we're tough. You'll, you'll get over it. Um, for our use, I don't think we needed it. But without that, hey, I just wanted to share with you guys how excited we are for the future what we're going to be doing on the channel i hope you guys are just as excited as i am we definitely wanted to introduce the new addition the new tractor to our property um once again major upgrade um the coyote ns6010 but it's always a sombering moment and we're going to miss the john deere 1025r great tractor we're actually going to be uh, giving that to my my father so he's going to be getting it we just painted the loader all up so we got it real nice and fresh for him still got a little bit of touch up to do on some paint but we want to give it to him to where he can use it for his house and his property 
and I think it's gonna it's got a lot of life left in it. But hey, thanks again for coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya.